I was recently asked two questions, and today I will be answering both of them. One is, why should you consolidate UTXOs? What does that matter? And the second question deals with Bitcoin compared to a different thing that I will refer to as the letter M. On a recent video I had, somebody asked me, I know nothing about UTXOs and why I should consolidate them. Why should I do it? The reason you might want to consolidate your UTXOs is because we might reach a point where the fees to move anything on chain will be more than you have in that UTXO. For example, if you have 500 sats in UTXO, but the cost has reached a point that moving anything is a thousand sats per V-byte, which would be pretty dang expensive. But let's say we got to that point, then you're not gonna be able to move it. Now I do believe, but I haven't done this, that there are some wallets where if you had 500 here, but then you wanted to get that out, you'd have to pay with a different UTXO and you could funnel that in there. But would you really wanna be paying a thousand to get the 500 out? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If you think about physical wallets, let's say you had 30 different wallets and you had five bucks in this wallet and a couple of quarters in this one and $300 in this one, it might make sense if you want to have different ones for whatever reason, but it also might make sense to just mush it all into one wallet, one UTXO. There's some people that like to have it broken up because they want to use this UTXO, they track it, they want to use this one because they buy eggs with it. And then they use this other one to go to their rancher when they get meat. And then this other one is to, to pay bills. But the basic reason that you might want to consolidate your UTXOs is because the fees could reach a point where you are unable to move anything out. If we go back to those wallets I was just talking about, if you've got 50 cents and quarters over here, but to move it, because the miners, that you got to pay the miners to move that, you can't just do it, might be 75 cents. So you go, well, I only have 50 cents in here. Okay, well, I need 75 cents to, to move it to your other wallet. I don't have 75 cents in that one. I have 50 cents. I guess it's stuck. So if you're hoping to avoid abandoning UTXOs and just leaving that money left in the dust, never to be used again, if you don't want that to happen, then look for a day where the on-chain transaction fees are relatively low. I'd say as of this recording towards the end of August 2023, that if you can find a time where the on-chain transaction fee is under 10 sats per V-byte, that'd be a good time to do it. Right now, it is currently 8 sats per V-byte for both priority and any time. So now would be a pretty good time to transfer those UTXOs that have 500, even 100, into one that has many more, maybe thousands of sats in it. This individual asked a second question. He said, I need a simple explanation for people of why M, some other crypto-y thing, I'm just going to refer to as M, isn't better than Bitcoin. I'm only tackling two questions today, and you might have way more. You might be a master of UTXO management already, but maybe you have other questions. You might want to know how to set up a business to start accepting Bitcoin. You might want to know how to pass on your generational wealth in a safe and secure way. No matter what your question is, the Bitcoin way will absolutely be able to help you. Schedule a free 30-minute call and see how they can help you with whatever it is that you might want to do with Bitcoin. My answer is this. I, I typed it out. I'm going to be reading this. First off, it's not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is undoubtedly, unquestionably the king of the arena. It's not even close. Now, why is Bitcoin the king? I'm just going to list off a couple of reasons. M does not have Bitcoin's Lindy effect. If I go up to almost anybody, and I mean really anybody, a grandma, a grandpa, a carpenter, a bagger, a burger flipper, if I go up to any of those people and say, hey, do you know what M is? Some of them might say yes. Maybe the Zoomers may have heard of it, possibly, but far more of them will have at least heard of Bitcoin. And you might say, well, this other thing just needs time to catch up. Well, eh, it's had almost as much time to catch up. This M thing came out in around 2012. So it was a little bit later than Bitcoin, but not so much. And it doesn't have anywhere near the global exposure. You don't have Fidelity talking about M. You don't have BlackRock talking about M. You don't have people on Fox News and CNBC. You don't have the entire Overton window shifting because the subject of M is coming up. No, 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 no. The entire Overton window of Bitcoin is shifting. You have RFK Jr. talking about Bitcoin. You have Ron DeSantis talking about Bitcoin. You've got Vivek talking about Bitcoin. You've got Oman talking about mining Bitcoin. You've got the kingdom of Bhutan mining Bitcoin. None of them are doing anything with M. Also, M's current hash rate is a global two, you ready for this? Two giga hashes, two giga hashes. That's two of this, one, two, two billion, 
guess is a second. And Bitcoin, on the other hand, is 400 quintillion guesses a second. The strength of the network is not even remotely comparable. We're talking about the mass exposure of a game like Fortnite. Who hasn't heard of Fortnite? Who isn't aware in some degree of what it is? If I ask almost anybody if they've heard of Fortnite, they may not have played it, but they'll at least be, a, yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. I, I think my kid does the dance, whatever. They'll have at least heard of Fortnite. People have at least heard of Bitcoin, but almost nobody in comparison knows of what this other M thing is. M's subreddit has somewhere in the range of 300,000 members. Bitcoin's subreddit has over five and a half million members. I'm not pointing to Reddit for any other reason to show you that it's more of the Lindy effect. It's more people that are aware of this thing. It's more of the conversation that is happening around this thing. Also, one of the points that is talked about in regards to M is its privacy aspect. Imagine a single city came up with their own currency and it was really secretive. It was like some new cash. They used the fun townville money. I was like, well, the benefit of this is that nobody knows exactly who traded with who. And it's all, there's no record of it. And so it's all hidden. And so nobody knows about it. Okay, that's great. But we can just look at everybody in Funtown and go, oh, I guess it's all of the people in Funtown. So it doesn't really matter that the entirety of Funtown is being private with each other if the entire state, the entire country can go, well, we know everybody that's in Funtown. It's not all that private. So the privacy aspect is kind of irrelevant. So to wrap up, why do you want to consolidate your UTXOs? Because it might get to a point in the future where you're not able to move UTXOs from one to another because the cost to do so is higher than you have in that UTXO. If you're curious what kind of a target you should be looking at to consolidate, my view, what I like to do, is have no less than a million. I want to have a million or more sats per UTXO. And if I had to give one answer as to why Bitcoin over anything else in this arena, I'd say it's because most people know, at the very least, they know about Bitcoin. True scarcity can only happen once. Anything else is a copy. And Bitcoin was there first. Now that I've answered a couple questions for you, I've got a video over here where Preston Pish talks to a game designer and they go into the details about Bitcoin and game theory and why Bitcoin is destined to win.